So, a Monster Hunter trailer has been released based on the game. Uh, I have no idea if this is going to be a piece of crap. Uh, or this is actually going to be any good. Um, but I finally, well, I'm going to have a chance to watch it with everybody. Um, let me know what you think. I'm going to, I haven't seen it yet. I just heard about it and thought, you know what, let's give this a go. Uh, I really want it to be good. I know video games have really a bad rep when it comes to making movies. There's not many good examples. And I'll probably go into that at the end of this, depending on what I see. Um, so if you've seen it or you don't haven't seen it, let me know what you think of the comments after you've watched this. And well, let's have a click. It's Mila Djokovic, so I'm just thinking it's gonna be like a Resident Evil clone. I hope I'm wrong. Let's just go into it. Oh God, it's army people. Please not army people. It's army people. Captain, do you have any idea what those markers are? They look pretty ancient. H how? How can you tell from Tracks that? In here. It's definitely Bravo team. They don't just disappear. Move, move, move. Watch out! What, what am I seeing? Oh, oh, they're just teleporting. Is that how we do things? Where the hell are we? Oh, brilliant. They've just teleported to Monster Hunter World. The army. Okay, we're starting to see. Okay, Tony Jar looks amazing. No, I'd be pooing myself right now if I saw that. Oh, piss off. Okay, cool. Okay, that's a black Diablo. That looks pretty cool. Holy shit. Yeah. Did you see that thing? Back. Right, that's this a situation where people survive. How does anyone right survive these things? I don't care what those creatures are. <sighs> okay, cool, 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 cool. We've got the weaponry, that's better. Looks like the military weapons aren't going to work, are they? Okay, got a dual blade. That's cool. Oh, there we go. That looks better. Yeah, I can take that. That looks all right. Well, oh, more military stuff. That's what will probably realistically happen. And if you survive from that, that's a joke. Okay, that looks cool. Okay, that's a cool scene. That reminds me of Smash Brothers. Ugh, right, okay. So, initial thoughts. Let's get them on the table. I don't like the fact it's military. Is this film trailer making me want to run to the cinema? No, at the current moment, it's not. Um, I don't know a great deal about Monster Hunter, but what I do know about Monster Hunter is that there's no military men in it. Um, I, look, this just seems another example where... You've got the source material in front of you, and the writers and the directors go, Do you know what? I'm gonna I see that source material and I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna ignore every little bit of it, and here's my interpretation of it, which is gonna piss off the fans. And I think a lot of the fans would have probably seen this and when they heard a Monster Hunter film was gonna be probably coming and hoping it was something very different. That wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be something like a Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones sort of shit. It's not. It's basically the old thing is, oh, the army's going in. It feels Resident Evil. It feels Transformery. And whereas I can understand that with Transformers, they had the soldiers in because they were fighting a war. I don't know. This just doesn't seem to fit. And it looks like, you know, you could see the cool swords and the bows and arrow. It looks like it's like human weaponry crap. Our weaponry, amazing, which seems, you, there was a shot where you saw her use like, well, like a bazooka of some sort and that didn't seem to do anything, that's ridiculous, I'm, I don't care what animal it is, what monster it is, it's going to get its head blown off if it gets hit by one of them. It just seems like it's so contrived and it, it's not listening to what the fans want. I'm sure the fans probably wanted something, as I said, like Game of Thrones, like Lord of the Rings, in that world, in that land, and why are we in a freaking desert? Why is it always a freaking desert? Desert films are boring, unless you do them like Mad Max, they're boring. And 
it just seems like it's a low budget. Well, to be fair, I say low budget. The CGI looked pretty good. But I look at these situations and go, how is anybody going to survive these situations? If you saw that monster for the first time, you saw that Diablo, you'd absolutely shit your pants. You wouldn't be sitting there making jokes. You'd be crapping yourself. I would be. I'd be panicking. Like, what the hell is that? You know, you'd realise pretty early on you're in not in the planet where you see rib cages that are literally the size of a double-decker bus. You wouldn't be going, this is the Guardians of the Galaxy shit. And, you know, again... I won't, you won't be making jokes like that, you'd be panicking, you'd be trying to tell your cell phones. They might do that, I don't know. But this is another example, like Mario, um, where Street Fighter, they just had the source material, it was great source material, and they just absolutely pissed all over it, ignored it, and it's making something that the fans aren't going to want. It's like Hollywood doesn't trust fans as if like their appeal's not enough, as if the money that they're going to bring in isn't going to be enough. And that's what I'm kind of getting from this, is like, they're basically thinking, okay, this, there might be a good follower of Monster Hunter fans, they'll come see it, but I don't think it's going to get the imagination of other people who might not follow the Monster Hunter brand. Let's just try and make it a bit more worldy, a bit more realistic, you know, to our world, and then it'll work. I think the problem with that is, is that you're trying to make it our world in their world, and it sometimes just doesn't need to be that way. Why not just use their world? Like, look, you know, you can look at Sonic. Granted, I've not seen the Sonic film, so I've got to be very careful here, which is ridiculous. And the biggest Sonic fan in the world, I don't have a chance to watch it at the moment. Sonic came to our world, which makes it a bit different. Had we jumped into Sonic's world, you've got to go by Sonic's rules and Sonic's world and take it all in. But here, it just seems like it's going to be another sort of Mario Brothers Transformers thing where we're just trying to make it too realistic. Why can't we jump into the Monster Hunter world? It could be so much fun, you can create your own rules, you can do whatever the hell you want. It doesn't have to be based in realism. Like, let's be honest, in the games you've got people going up against these things and coming out on top. They're probably going to come out on top here, but if you put Mila Djokovic in front of a huge dragon, it gonna die, she gonna die. And she's got limited training, and yet she's walking up as if she's Jon Snow without a problem in the world. It's absolute bullshit. And I'd really just wish that Hollywood would take a chance on their source material and give it a go. I, again, it just pisses me off, and I think this is going to be one of those. I think it's going to absolutely bomb. Granted, this is only the first trailer I've seen. You, trailers can't mean everything. Again, going back to Sonic, Sonic looked like an absolute piece of garbage. They then redid it. It looked a lot better, and it's turned out quite well. Um, but here, I don't really see how you can you know, change anything here. Maybe more clips might come out, and that might change my opinion. I just wish it was a film where we lived in their world. You know, The best example I've got at the moment of that would be probably Detective Pikachu, uh, Mortal Kombat. You, you go by their rules, you jump in their world. It's not streaked in realism. You're basically in their world, so anything sort of goes here. I don't know, it just seems like, why is the military trying to come in, and obviously military guns don't work, and oh, 10-4, 10-4, watch my six. I just don't like it. I just wish it was even a normal, you know, normal, let's say a normal situation where random people suddenly got, why do you suddenly get transported? Well, why is it always got to be they get suddenly randomly transported to Monster Hunter World? I can, all to bullshit. In my opinion, it's just bad story writing. Again, I've not made this thing, I've not written a story, so I can't really comment. But I just think it's very lazy. And I just want Hollywood to give it a go. I want Hollywood to give the normal story their chance because it makes me think of future films which one day could come to, you know, the festival of the future, really. It could come to the front. You've got Zelda. People always want to see a Legend of Zelda film. They want to see a Mario film. There's talk of even a Smash Brothers film because now you've had Sonic. Now you've had Pikachu. What happens if they make a Samus film? What happens if there's a Samus film? Is that going to be streaked in realism? Are you going to have the army in that? No, if you had a Samus film, it should be like Rick and Morty level shit. Anything goes. I know, again, I'm ranting off a two-minute trailer, and other people might object and say, oh, they think this trailer looks really good. Again, the monsters look cool, the CGI looks cool. I just don't like the way it's being handled at the moment. Said some of the battles look cool. But I want to see, I don't know, I want to see it a bit more in the world rather than fighting a desert. 
Maybe I'm just ranting, maybe I'm just being a bit skeptical over a two minute trailer. Um, let me all know, you know, hopefully more news will come out in the future, but let me all know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you give this a like and subscribe, and I probably will be covering this more and more when more information comes out. But until next time, I've been HPT, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.